Since launching our Enrich API in 2017, we have been continuously creating new features and enhancements to give our customers and partners the best experience possible when working with our products and suite of solutions. We understand change can be hard, but in the coming months, we will be moving to support full-time our Enrich API and discontinuing the previous version. So, our goal today is to walk through how to migrate from our older Person v2 API to Enrich API. Before diving in, the main reasons you'll want to migrate to Enrich API are we've improved the overall accuracy and precision of the data that gets returned. We fine-tuned our overall graph algorithms with match and fill rates for contact records seeing approximately 10 to 20% increase by leveraging multi-field inputs, which we'll touch on when making the Enrich API requests. And our Enrich API returns enhanced segmentation with different data types and packs, including lifestyles, finances, household information, automotive data, expanded demographic data, purchase behaviors, cohorts, improved professional and firmographics. Now let's begin. First things first, let's get started on the right foot with the right API key. In order to make sure we have the right API key, we need to log into our dashboard and access the homepage. From this page, you can, we can generate a new API key by clicking here. You can name each newly generated API key whatever you wish, such that you know what API key aligns with perhaps a specific use case, particular client, or in this case, the API key can now simply access the Enrich API endpoint. Let's name this API key back to the future. Click Save, and once the new key is generated, be sure to copy it into your code immediately before shutting the window, as you will only be shown this key once. This is very important. You may also leave this window open until you've put your API key in the authorization header. Once you've copied your newly generated API key, you will be able to see within your dashboard all API keys that have been historically generated and which endpoints you are able to call by API key. Now that we have our API key, we can use Postman to better understand what changes occur when migrating from Person v2 to our Enrich API. For those out there who don't use Postman regularly or don't know what it's used for, we've included a link to the Postman how-to below. For this example that we'll run through, we are going to use our very own CEO, Bart Lorang. If you're a current person or company v2 user or a previous full contact customer, you know that our API requests were previously done using the basic get method. This was convenient in that you could make your own queries in your web browser, but it was not secure. To provide a more secure experience for our users, we have moved our Enrich API to an RPC style interface using HTTP POST versus GET. Another benefit is that you can more easily customize the request with JSON formatted input. The next modification comes with how the API key is sent and in V3. Your API key is now only sent within the authorization header with the string bearer. In the previous version, API keys could be sent either as a query parameter or within the X full contact API key header. Then there's how lookup parameters containing person or company contact fragments like email, phone, and company domain are sent within the API request. Before lookup parameters for both person and company were sent as query parameters in the request URL. With Enrich API, these input parameters are now sent inside of a post body object. Within the body, another enhancement for Enrich API that was made was the ability to perform multi-field querying. This gives everyone the ability to query full contact using multiple contact inputs instead of only a single input. You can now query by any combination of emails, phones, name and address, social URLs, IDs, and usernames. From here, we will need to ensure that you are able to accept a JSON response. Our Enrich API only returns JSON now, so updating that on the back end is necessary along with updating the structure of the response itself. You can now use the link below that will allow you to access the various field elements with Enrich API. Once all necessary components are in place, we can go ahead and submit our API request hitting the Enrich endpoint. And voila, we have a match. Altogether, the process to migrate from Person v2 to our Enrich API should hopefully take minimal effort and our teams are here to help at any point of this process. We are continuously improving our Enrich API and users now have the ability to use our Resolve product within our Enrich API in order to return a consolidated, unique FCID that you can keep a lookout for in the very near future. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helps ease all migration efforts that you and your teams are working on, but let us know how we can help using the link provided below.